Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm back with a look around the car boot sale for you today and also I have a very big boot sale haul. Don't I, pumpkin? We've got loads of stuff surrounding us that we're going to show everybody. But first I thought I would insert some clips of the boot sale. I've got Mittens just chilling behind me. She's waiting to inspect everything too. And yeah, I got quite a lot of stuff. It was a beautiful sunny day this morning down in the boot sale. It's turned into a very rainy afternoon. I actually got back from the car boot sale and had a nap. It's been a very busy week. Um, I've just been working straight through. So I worked on the weekend. I think I've worked the past two weekends. I worked right the way through and yeah, I felt really tired when I got back. So I had a little nap and just got up, made myself a cup of tea. And I thought I'd show you everything that I bought today because yeah, I think it's possibly one of the best boot sale hauls that I've got for you so far this year. There's a lot of good stuff here. So I hope you're having a lovely Sunday if you're watching this on Sunday. As I say, it's turned into a rainy one here in London today. I think plants are very thankful out in the roof garden. It's just been kind of raining all afternoon. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would share with you all the bits that I got. So before that, we will jump in and have a look around the boot sale. Eyes peeled, see if you can spot anything that you think I might have picked up because quite a lot of it does feature in the footage. And yeah, I'll meet you back here with a drink and show you everything that I bought. It is a lovely day at the boot sale. It's boiling hot and it is very busy today. We try and whip around quite quickly. There's lots of stalls here. Yeah, 
Yeah, she had um, two big carrier bags for it. Would you do the kitchen for 20? 20? I would. Yes. Yes. As it's going to a good home. Yeah. And you love it. <laughs> it's the most. Check out. Yeah, transaction approved. Do you want me to send you a receipt? Oh, yes, please. Yeah, let me send it to your phone number. Okay, 07. Yeah. Thank you so much. You've got great stuff. Cheers, thank you. You're here most weeks. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, 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 pretty much every two weeks I'm here. Do you ever get any side of Yeah. Quite, quite a lot of the time. Yeah. They're really hard to find. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so no, much. Right. I hope you don't Yeah? Nice. It's regional. Yeah. Okay, thank you.
in the jaw. <laughs> Bring him back. I have just seen they've opened up the whole another side today, so I've been missing out all morning. I've done two laps on the main bit, and we've got a whole new bit of playground opened up. and thinking if I didn't have the ones that I've bought recently from Fired Earth, these two would have probably worked above the little sink in the ensuite, just next to each other. But yeah, I have got my tiles sorted now. Hope you enjoyed that little browse around the boot sale with me and I hope you've got a drink ready, maybe something nice to eat and yeah, let's show you everything that I've bought. So first of all, I actually picked up a couple of plants. I picked up this cat grass, this was just one pound and I also picked up some catnip and already pumpkin and mittens have been really enjoying this, particularly the cat grass and pumpkin was straight all over that but they both had a little nibble on the catnip too. I'll just pop it here and um, Pumpkin may well get involved with that again. Oh, there we go. <laughs> He's straight into that. He absolutely loves it. I'm wondering how quickly that's gonna um, just all be demolished because he's really enjoying it. But um, yeah, the lady said that if you trim off your catnip when it gets quite long, you can then pop it, the stem into some water and it will um, regrow the roots and you can kind of um, keep making catnip. So I'm gonna have a go at that. Um, yeah, you just snip it off and pop it in some water. So I'll definitely be doing that. And yeah, pumpkin and mittens have been loving it. Now, talking of plants, I picked up rather a lot of plant pots. 
and these were being sold by this couple. I think she was saying, I heard her saying to her husband, mum's pots are selling really well. So I think um, they may have belonged to her mum and these were five pounds each. They are beautiful, just various different terracotta pots. This one needs a bit of a hose down, doesn't it? Um, but really nice individual um, designs on them. We have one here for strawberries or for herbs. So yeah, five pounds each for these. I picked up four in total and she did me a deal um, for, for 15. So yeah, I'm really pleased with these. I think I've mentioned before that I'm slowly kind of switching out all the plastic pots on the roof garden for nice terracotta ones. And Dainty told me to pop plastic inside of these, like plastic plant pots, and it will actually retain the water better. So I must remember to do that this time before I pop these ones up. And we have one more, this kind of slightly um, lower one, which I thought was really nice too. So yeah, I'm gonna give these all a little bit of a scrub. I mean, I don't mind them looking a little bit kind of dirty and rough and ready. I think it adds to the character, doesn't it? But yeah, from the same seller, I actually picked up a few bits. Um, let me just pop these to one side. I think it's like, it's all big stuff that I've got to show you today. So I'm just kind of shuffling it around the living room floor here. Let's show you this thing next. Oh, hello. A little ball's just rolled in. This, <laughs> this is something that the kittens absolutely love to play with. One of their favorite toys is a little pom-pom. They just love them. And if I throw these down the hallway, they just chase after them like the little mice. So you're gonna go after that. Yeah, off he goes. <laughs> um, yeah, so this um, caught my eye. And it's a ceiling rose, and this was marked up at two pounds, and it's one of the plaster ones. So I think there was a bit here, yeah, just on the corner here, where it's kind of coming away a bit. But I can stick that, no bother. Um, I'll just glue that back down. And I think, um, yeah, I'd end up painting this, wouldn't I? But I just need to figure out how to install it, because it doesn't have the hole here. So I guess I just need to drill that out carefully. I have got a bit to go on the drill that drills out kind of like larger um, circles, which I think would do the trick. And I might have a go at popping this um, on one of the light fittings somewhere. The one in here is too big because it's got quite a big um, thing on it for the chandelier. So I need to find um, one of the lights that just has this simple pendant coming through. But I thought I'd have a go at sticking that on the ceiling. I thought that was quite good for two quid, so. Yeah, these are quite pricey normally, aren't they? The, especially the um, plaster ones. I know you can get like polystyrene versions. It's not super heavy, so I'm thinking I could probably just no more nails it to the ceiling. I don't know. <laughs> we shall see. Um, but I thought for two quid it was worth a go. I bought something that I have been wanting to get at the car boot sale for such a long time and many of you often spy them in the footage and comment and ask me if I picked it up. So I'm gonna have a quick sip of my tea and then show you that. I'll just drag it over. Here we go. It is this beautiful Fortnum's hamper and it's a really good size, just with the leather straps. So I will be switching this out for one of the hampers that isn't Fortnum's. I have got quite a few <laughs> already. I'm a bit of a hamper hoarder, so one of them will be going and I will be replacing it with this one. And um, she wanted 25 for this and I asked her what her best price would be. And I think she said, um, yeah, 20 pounds I paid. And often at the boot sale, these have been, they've been averaging, I think people have generally been wanting about 40 pounds for this size. So I thought 20 was really good. And yeah, I'm just really pleased with it. I've always wanted one of these. So um, I'm looking forward to popping this upstairs where I've got one that's a similar size and just switching it out. And then inside, from the same seller, I went back later on, I had looked at these quite early on um, as I was going around, but I ended up doing, I think like three or four laps um, because there was like a new section that was open, which was very exciting. Um, so there was more stalls to be looking at basically. But I went back towards the end and these were still there. They've been priced at 20 pounds each. So I asked her what, her best price would be for these lanterns. And these are beautiful beveled glass, as you can see. And then we have the kind of antique brass style um, going on. I think they're modern, um, but you can adjust the chain for different heights. And I've got a, a perfect place to put one of these, well, both of them, 
um, in the hallway. So yeah, she said that they were actually in her home in Edinburgh. Um, she lives in London now, but she said that she had them going down like a long hallway. You can imagine, can't you? Um, you often see these in hallways in Victorian properties. So I love this style. I've got quite a few um, of this style already around the home. So yeah, she said £10. Um, so I asked her if she wanted to sell me the other one for £10 as well, because there was two. And uh, yeah, she was more than happy to do that. She just wanted to find them a new home. So I got the two for 20 quid, which is such a bargain for these. I'm not sure where they came from originally. Some of you may recognise them. Um, as I say, I think they are new, but very happy with my new lanterns. I love the beveled glass. I think that just makes them look extra good quality, doesn't it? I think the light will shine really nicely through those. So I'm going to get on to uh, Task Rabbit, um, which I use to find a chat to put the TV up and get an electrician and get these up. I'll try and do that sooner rather than later because I don't want these just lying around. That's the danger when you buy things at the car boot sale. All these little projects <laughs> that can just be left for a rainy day. Well, it is raining today, so I'm going to crack on with that. I must just get straight on to Task Rabbit and book someone in. And then we're left with the filling um, this stuff in the hamper, which... I'm sure the kittens will absolutely love having a little rummage through. Um, and then I also bought, which way should I go? Let's go this way. I bought some faux flowers and this bunch, oh, they smell nice. Um, this bunch, all of these was four pounds, which I didn't haggle on. I just thought that was quite good. And they look like quite quali uh, good quality ones. Just take this off. They've got pampas grass seeds kind of on them, so I need to kind of give them a bit of a hoover. I tried to shake them off at the boot sale, but there's still um, a few bits on there. I'm going to separate them, because I actually think these reds, I think these would look nice as separated. And I might actually use some of these on the roof garden. Let's just uh, switch those out a little bit. So yeah, I think these just look quite nice together. And I think they would look quite nice just in a low pot either inside or outside, if you just pop them all together like that and then have them in quite a shallow dish, I think, and that would look really nice. Yeah, I think they're quite realistic and nice colours too. Got all those bits of pampas grass flying around. And then we have this style. I think I've got three of those, or four. Um, so I could do something with those separately, probably. They'd be quite nice at autumn time, wouldn't they, this kind of burgundy colour with some autumn leaves, maybe even some like real ones mixed in. And we have this, I'm not sure what um, plant that is. And that one, and a rose as well. So yeah, a nice mix. I think these ones would be nice at autumn time, mixed in with some um, autumn leaves. And yeah, four quid for all of that. So <coughs> I think I've got some pampas grass stuck in my throat <laughs> so yeah i might um yeah pop these ones out on the roof garden though because i've already got some of these on the roof garden so they could tie in quite nicely and then i bought a shirt and um, this shirt was on a rail and i asked the seller how much they wanted for this it's actually brand new from h&m and they said a fiver which i thought was quite steep for the car boot sale <laughs> so um i just kind of was like looking and then she said or oh, you can offer me a price if you would like to. And I said, would you take three for it? And she said, yes. So that was three pounds. I thought that was quite nice for summertime. It's a medium, so I think it will be okay because it's kind of like oversized fit. Um, otherwise I probably would have left it, but it looked like, yeah, slightly oversized in terms of the fit. So I thought that was nice um, for summertime and brand new, as you can see. And then the last thing I've got to show, I've got one item to show you from the charity shop as well is this stool, which Pumpkin is underneath, so I need to carefully lift it up so that he doesn't get caught in it. Um, this was priced at 15 pounds. I think it's got the um, label on it still. Yeah, there we go. And um, I just was having a look at it and I was trying it out. She was like, you can sit on it if you'd like to. So I wasn't sure about this bit. I thought that might be, look like it's kind of like on its last legs, but it was quite nice to sit on. And she said, you could have that for £10 if you want to. So I thought, yeah, for a tenner. I mean, 15 I thought it was pretty good, but yeah, I thought I would snap that up 
and I thought this would be really nice to put in front of the window because the kittens love to look out the window and just um, watch the world go by. They're really intrigued. They look at people and cars and if there's any birds or any little bugs on the window, they love to look at all of that. And I've been kind of opening the window a little crack at the bottom and the top to get the air circulating while it's been so hot. And they have been kind of just enjoying like sniffing the air that's coming through as well. So I'm gonna pop this, I think, in front of the window and it'll make quite a nice little um, window seat they can just um, sit on and, and relax as well. Pumpkin. <laughs> Pumpkin is now in the Fortnum's hamper. Are you enjoying that? You just love to make a bed immediately, don't you? I mean, look at this. Talk about living the life of luxury. Is that nice, pumpkin? <laughs> that could be a thumbnail. Is that nice? Do you enjoy your new bed? Well, that can be your bed if you like. I can leave it down here for you. I've got beds everywhere. They're totally spoiled. Um, <laughs> I've got one thing to show you from the charity shop. I was hoping, oh, Mittens has come to say hello as well. Hello. Are you interested in the bits and pieces? Maybe you'll like this. Oh, like the cat grass. And yeah, I got one thing from the charity shop. I was filming in Lincolnshire and I was actually hoping to go to a car boot sale there. Yesterday, there was a Saturday one. <coughs> Excuse me, I think I've got that um, pampas grass seeds in my throat. Um, but yeah, it was, I'd misread the sign. I thought it said 12 till five, but it was actually from 12 and I think it was closing up. And we got there kind of like just before two o'clock and it was already finishing. So kind of missed the boot sale there. Um, but I did pop into a couple of charity shops in a place called Horncastle. A few of you um, messaged me on Instagram because you recognised kind of like the street and some of the areas from my Instagram story. Um, but I just picked up one thing and it was this little Liberties, um, or Liberty of London, I should say, um, little pouch with, with um, lavender in it. And this was only £1.50. And I thought that was really sweet and it smells so strong. It's really punchy. So yeah, I'm probably just gonna pop that in the drawer or um, and hang that in the wardrobe. But I love that and I love anything um, from Liberties. It's one of my favorite shops here in London. I must do a come shopping with me at some point actually. Um, I've never done an actual full kind of come shopping with me in Liberties, but I think that might be quite a nice one to do. These two, they're just <laughs> they're so sweet. I need to um, maybe move the camera down in a moment to show you, but Pumpkin is literally just relaxing in the basket and Mittens is kind of like, just lay down alongside it. Um, but yeah, that is all the bits that I got from the car boot sale. And I'm very pleased with them all. Let me know which item was your favourite in the comments. What do you think the biggest bargain was? I also was given... Oh, get it up now. <laughs> This bag, which is very handy, I'm very grateful to the seller <laughs> for giving me that to help me get all those bits home. Um, so I'm going to use that to do a bit of a declutter and take a few items out of the home. So I feel like I've brought rather a lot in, although a lot of this will be going out onto the roof garden. The lamps will be hung. The ceiling rose needs to go on the ceiling. And yeah, I need to pop these up actually and plant them. The lady said that they will live um, on a windowsill inside us if they would be okay inside and they said they'd be great on a windowsill um so yeah that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed it um do subscribe if you're new here and you haven't done so already for brand new videos every single week give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and yeah i hope you enjoy the rest of your sunday if you're watching this on sunday morning whatever time it is you're watching this hope you're having a lovely day or evening don't forget you can always catch me over on instagram as well it's mr carrington i've also got my home account which is mr carrington home and i'm snapping just things as i go on there showing you kind of little updates here and there of bits that i'm doing at the moment i've just popped up the tiles that i've selected for the ensuite things like that so if you're interested in my home and how i'm kind of renovating it and decorating it then do give me a little follow over there. But yeah, that's it for this one. Um, I will see you very soon in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. And it's goodbye from Pumpkin, who is enjoying his new bed.